Hey guys, this is your trusted weather forecast, and today we're going to be talking about Hurricane Teddy that could impact Nova Scotia and portions of the extreme northeast United States, and potentially even southern Greenland as it moves northeast towards Iceland and Europe. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed. So please click the subscribe button if you like weather-related content. Hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss a single upload. Also, share this with friends and family and like the video to get this out to as many people as possible. Let's get right into this. This is the National Hurricane Center's website. You see we have Tropical Depression Wilfred in the middle of the Atlantic that poses currently no threat to land. And we have Tropical Storm Beta that could drop catastrophic landfall in portions of Texas and Louisiana. And we have a disturbance that could approach Portugal in the Northeast Atlantic and a secondary disturbance all off the coast of Florida right now that could impact Louisiana, though the chances are very low. Let's get right into Teddy. This is the National Hurricane Center forecast comb for Teddy as of 5 p.m. Sunday. Bermuda is under a tropical storm warning and parts of Nova Scotia are under tropical storm watches. Those tropical storm watches could be upgraded to a hurricane watch depending on how quickly this thing weakens and it weakens into a tropical storm as it approaches southern Greenland. These are tropical storm force wind speed probabilities. You see the pink there is 90 plus percent chance to see tropical storm force winds, and the dark green is 5 to 10 percent chance to see tropical storm force winds. In the United States, the more likely area to receive tropical storm force winds are extreme eastern Maine and Cape Cod of Massachusetts. This is current intensity guidance for Hurricane Teddy. You see some models still have it becoming a major hurricane. Um, there is a possibility that it could re-strengthen into a Category 3 major hurricane, but I think that possibility is very low. And you just see a general weakening trend as time goes on and as this approaches Canada and Greenland. These are all the potential paths it could take. You can see it's very narrow down with a landfall around Nova Scotia as it as it moves northeast towards Greenland and Iceland, there is a small possibility of another landfall in Greenland, which would be very rare if it maintains tropical storm strength. These are current sea surface temperatures in the Atlantic. You can see those temperatures drop from 28 to 30 degrees Fahrenheit down to 17 below degrees Fahrenheit, which is when the system will turn subtropical, post-tropical as it moves northeast towards Greenland and start rapidly weakening as it gets closer to Greenland as those waters start tearing apart the system more. These temperatures are in degrees Celsius. That's the trusted weather forecast for Hurricane Teddy that could impact portions of Nova Scotia, Greenland, and the extreme northeastern United States. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.